Today we're at a riparian oak forest. This is the San Joaquin Wildlife Preserve Pelican Trail. Here we're at the edge of the riparian oak forest. We've got lots of small plants and then it's dominated by these huge oak trees as well as some smaller oaks as well. Look at this massive guy over here. So we're looking towards the river, which we can't see because there is too much brush in the way. In the Central Valley, having a little marshland or wetlands right next to river area, so the riparian forest is really typical. You can see that this wetlands is quite diverse. If I'm quiet for a second, you can hear all the different birds calling. Here's a nice view of the big wetlands. Listen to all those birds. You can see right in the actual water part, the place that gets flooded, we've got a lot of plants <laughs> that can withstand flooding. Closer to the edges, we have plants that are greedy for water but can't really tolerate being flooded all the time, so they live most of their life outside the water. Here we have some other plants that like a lot of water we find near riverbanks pretty often, which are these wild roses that are California natives. And something to notice here is that, whoop, <laughs> This was the ovule, or rather the ovary, sorry, of the, um, of the flower. So the petals used to be all around this, and it's what's left over of the carpal. Flood tolerant trees thrive in seasonal wetlands and riparian ecosystems. Here's the dry side of the seasonal wetlands. You can see that grasses are taking over where plants that lived under water used to be. And off in the distance, you can see the oak forest that's right along the river. Got a little beetle here. Oh, hi. We found a turtle. It seems kind of far from the river, which is behind it, but maybe it's just getting some sun. Here we have some geese honking. You can see these oak trees, this line of oaks right along the river on the other side over there. And then over on our side are some bushy willow trees. Most riparian forest in California has now been converted to agricultural use, especially in the Central Valley. Here's one of the largest preserves in the Central Valley, Caswell Memorial Park. You can see that this one is totally surrounded by plots of land used for agricultural purposes. Most of the Central Valley is not a nature preserve. Here all of the stuff in gray is um, preserved land, but the rest of it, especially in the Central Valley, is developed.